As the waves flow and the wind blows, life is always shifting. As the sun hits the horizon, a new adventure is calling. With the wind in our sails, who knows where we are going? But the sails will take us there. We are home. We were born to be free. To sail across the seas, to breathe in life with the ocean breeze, step into the unknown, into the unknown. On this episode of Sailing NV, our dinghy escapes, we get towed by a two horsepower engine, and we have a go at spearfishing. Can we get a coconut? Oh. oh, amazing. Thank you so, so much. Thank you. Do you want to know the best thing about natural coconut water? And we're not littering. That's how you get rid of it. Maniac. <laughs> That over there? <laughs> this is hard dingy. Oh my god. <laughs> oh like he left our dinghy untied and now he's going to get it. <laughs> what happened there, Amor? Did you not? Did you not tie it on? No, he untied himself. Wow. That's so funny. Job done. Is that on? It's tied on. You nearly lost our dinghy. Not my fault. Your fault. Totally your fault. You tied it on badly. Good morning. It is 3.30 a.m. and there is quite a serious storm going on outside with thunder and lightning. So, yeah, watching out to make sure that the boat's okay, that the anchor's holding, and yeah, oh, I'm together we're washing it. <laughs> so, it's for towels and things that go away. Like, look how much water is in our dinghy! Also, it's got a couple of holes in it, so it's a little bit deflated. <laughs> okay, this is also something that we have to do every single morning to keep this dingy. Let's <laughs> inflate it up. Okay, so Mike, tell us about your your homemade spear. Right, pretty simple. It's broken. Okay. Bungee. A little bit of string. And they're actually just makeshift. This is basically like a broom handle. And all I did was cut a hole in the top. And the plan was to epoxy in. <laughs> have a spear tip in the top, which is interchangeable. So if you do break it, it's easy in and out. But I'm going to have to replace this wood with a fiberglass pole, which is what I originally wanted. But super simple. Hole, spear tip, which didn't work because the epoxy was crap. Bungee. And it works. Super simple. Okay, so basically what happened was Mike created his own homemade spearfish, which is actually very cool, I have to say. But it kind of broke on us. 
um, the end, the spear hadn't <laughs> actually set properly. set properly with the with the epoxy that he used to keep it in there. So that didn't set properly. So when he went to spear this lionfish, the end came straight out of the pole. So Mike and I are vegetarians, and we're vegetarians because we don't agree with the the mass consumption and the way things are brutally killed. Um, but we always said that if we got a boat, then we'd probably start fishing because I we feel we really believe that that's the way to to do it. If you want to eat meat or fish, you should either farm it or fish it yourself. So like, that's how we truly believe. Maybe now we can start fishing our own fish. So what are you doing now? I'm just gonna fillet it. You cut down the back of the neck. The menu. The menu. Mike is curry chattering it. There's a curry and coriander. And then it'll go know. with our homemade pasta. Okay, so our dinghy has officially decided to pack up. So, looks like we're going to be rowing home. <laughs> Okay, so we've swapped over and we've got this lovely guy Jeff now helping us out. So he's got a slightly bigger engine than the one before, which is already a two horsepower engine. So yeah, we're doing a lot better now. <laughs> Our lovely neighbour Jan came round to help Mike fix the engine. <laughs> <laughs> okay then, round number two. We made a little bit of changes after the break last time. I've used some epoxy putty, which I actually don't think is holding. <laughs> I've backed it up with this line. So I've just drilled a hole, tightened up a line nice and tight. And then done a couple of wraps around the bottom of the spear. Shouldn't really hinder its performance. And we're going to go see if we can catch maybe two lionfish and see if we can have those for dinner tonight. Hey, wow. Good catch, Mike. Alrighty. Just get rid of Can all I? the spines. Okay, so let's see if we can do this properly then today. Okay. What we need is bucket, cutting board, a lionfish, knife, scissors. To be fair, you should really wear gloves, but we don't have any, so I'm just going to use. Look at you, such a pro one. now. <laughs> and then basically, the tips of the spines is where the venom is. So they're not poisonous, they're venomous, which means that we can eat them. So, just, yeah, <laughs> just protect yourself against the spines. So. Not all the spines actually have venom, but I play it safe and just cut all the spines off. You've been doing a lot of research on this, haven't you? No, I'm pretty talented in these areas. Yeah? <laughs> so modest. Careful. <laughs> After that, all that, don't go jab yourself. Some better scissors. Scissors, eh? Yeah, yeah, we've got the the world's bluntest scissors and knives on this boat. But 
so just fine. I'm going to turn these. I'm going to put them return them to the sea. And then return them to the sea. Just be super which careful. they actually sink, which is good because we were worried that they would float and yeah. jumping into the water afterwards would be a bit like. Mm. So the spines actually like come out of the the spine cover, should we say? <laughs> there's like a sheath. So it, there's yeah. a sheath here, and you can see they're starting to protrude. And the sheath protects the venom and actually helps layer the venom on the spines. Okay, so why is Kion going to get you a, a fiberglass spear? Uh, which sucks. Which just sucks. Basically, it just got a little bit wobbly here at the end. It's not fully like, stable. It's basically coming out straight away. It's not sticking. So, which is a shame because his homemade spear is pretty awesome. Yeah, maybe you didn't leave it long enough to set. Okay, what do you have there, Mors? Yes! <laughs> a proper this is fiberglass a nice rod. Fiberglass rod, eh? Which is going to work. Wow, that's so cool. God, it's long, isn't it? It's a lot longer than your uh, wooden pole. Yeah, this is a good sign. We were born to be free To sail across the sea Ocean breeze, step into the unknown, into the unknown.